Hi Pisces, this is Marishi on my channel Shiloka. I'm doing some current energy readings for the rest of the month of September. So we'll see how it goes. Pisces, what do you need to know for the rest of the month of September? What situation are you in right now? What do you need to know? Just one more time. What do you need to know right now? For the rest of the month of September, Pisces people, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Show me. Once in reverse, can you see the cards? What else, please? Wow. That's interesting. So it shows me uh, some tower moment has already happened in your life. Okay. Uh, with the first two cards as the three of wands and two of wands in reverse. Somebody is still willing to make things work out, okay? Somebody is very much fiery to get things going. But um, with these two wands cards, okay, in reverse, the three of wands and the two of wands, it is like um, things seems to not be moving from, or, you know, getting back to where it was before. This tower moment happened, okay? And see, it seems to be... Um, there is no opportunity of manifesting or seeing a potential in the future but yet um, you are trying to make things work somehow okay you want to fire it up somehow hmm? even it seems like a dead end right now after the tower moment has happened everything is a little stagnant but somebody is very passionate about uh, bringing things back to where it was okay let's see what this this is about this is about something coming uh, into the light okay somebody might have been doing something and that might have been the tower which got revealed because with the seven of swords in reverse it is something uh, had come into light about somebody okay somebody was playing um playing it could be you or it could be for the cross watcher and it seems right now this person is trying to make things work even though the other person is not on the same page as you yeah uh, i see someone is not willing to give up at least not yet they're fighting to keep um, make things come back to where it was before this tower moment happened okay even though it seems like it's not going to there is not much hope okay there is not much hope and you don't see things going back to where it was somebody is very much determined to make things work okay let's see what this is all about you've got the six of cups in reverse okay so uh, it was beautiful once upon a time before the tower moment happened now it seems like everything is stuck okay everything is paused and somebody wants to move on from that energy somebody wants to take some kind of a risk that's why we have got the knight of wands somebody who's very much determined to make things happen okay just uh, this this knight is very fiery okay very much fiery very much determined What else, please? What else? This is regards to a foundation which might have broken down. Okay, uh, the stability and the security is not there anymore. You might have been together for too long, might have children as well, but now it is like um, it has crumbled down with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, I think finance is also, also involved. This doesn't have to be a love reading itself, okay? This doesn't have to be a, a love reading. Um, it could be a business reading, work reading. Uh, just put it according to your situation. But I do see uh, finances involved, okay? Uh, there is other party influences, okay? Which might be the reason this tower might have uh, occurred. 
other people might have had their you know, input for this tower to happen. King of, uh, King of Cups and Reverse, somebody is really overwhelmed right now and uh, they're losing their um, position within the situation. Like they, they were like an emperor before who, who had it all together. But now it seems like his position is slipping out, okay? He cannot think straight because he's losing his power. Hmm? Somebody who is very much uh, imbalanced up here because everything is slipping out of his hands, okay? And he comes out as very much overwhelmed within the situation. What else, please? Wheel of Fortune and the Strength. Someone is very much determined to turn the wheel um, to their favor, okay, and are trying to sit and convince themselves it will, it will get back to where it is, whatsoever is the situation right now, it is going to get better, somebody is very much determined with that optimistic thought, okay, so they are not giving up whatsoever, where else please, again the strength card, and the five pentacles, just what I said, they are um, uh, convincing themselves they will get through the situation of the five pentacles if they feel uh, uh, very much out in the cold or they feel a little betrayed or somebody is not uh, like uh, you know separated ways or something something of that sort uh, might have happened you're still trying to console yourself that all is going to be well at the end of the day yeah that kind of uh, self-convincing mode hmm? what else please And everything is going to be all right with the world okay so uh, things will be all right but yet even through this process you're you're very much imbalanced just like i said with the emperor uh, emperor in reverse um you can't think straight okay you can't think straight even if you're trying to con uh, console yourself you're just trying to keep it together hmm? because there is no one else who who, who will uh, give you such um, you know promising thoughts you have to do it for yourself but yet you might be losing your mind over this situation hmm? however strong you are coming through okay however um, the mask you uh, the mask which you're wearing that everything is going to be all right everything but within yourself you're pretty much scared pretty much, uh, pretty much losing your mind thinking what will happen if everything uh, I lose everything Hmm? What else, please? You, you are expecting some kind of a transition from where things are stuck right now. Okay, you want to move on from the space. Okay, from that tower moment which uh, they showed me uh, initially. But somebody is not reciprocating as you would like them to. Okay, somebody doesn't have much to offer. For this transition to happen okay you are um, uh, you really want them back and they don't want anything to do with it if that makes sense mm -hmm. yeah you're not even willing to accept any kind of apology for them the cups is drained out they don't have much to offer but yet, you are willing to make things go back to where it was. Page of Swords and the Devil, uh, the devil in Reverse. Uh, it's almost like uh, somebody, um, somebody doesn't see the potential within the situation anymore. Okay, and they are trying to cut the cords. Okay, and give up. Okay, and give up. That was regards to this transition okay just like i said somebody uh, yes uh, with the ten of cups in reverse somebody doesn't want to uh, make it work anymore also you are trying listen i might be talking directly to the cross watcher and the pisces is not willing to uh, you know hold their hands again with the ten of cups in reverse uh, or it might be uh, i'm speaking directly to the pisces i don't have to explain this every time but uh from the way I see some of the comments, I think I need to. Anyways, so um, what else, please? 
Yes, again, they're showing me the page of rewards in reverse. And the Queen of Cups, uh, the person whom you're dealing with, okay, is also very much overwhelmed within the situation. They showed me the King of Cups earlier in reverse. Now they're showing me the Queen of Cups. So it's a couple energy, okay, whatever the situation you are stuck in uh, of before this tower moment, okay, uh, you might have had a good thing going on, but after this whole, uh, happened and something came into, uh, uh, some, uh, something was revealed, okay, this was the reason the tower might have happened. Now the other person is not willing, okay, doesn't see the potential to even initiate or even accept any kind of apology or any kind of offer which you're putting uh, forward, okay, because they are pretty much uh, depressed, Again, they have been hurt within the situation. That is the reason why they don't want to join hands again with you. Hmm? What else, please? Again, they're showing me the Ten of Cups. Okay, this is this is uh, like a confirmation reading. Oh, you can't see the cards. Okay. Moon, something, uh, just I was thinking in my head, I should be pulling cards, what was, uh, you know, what was the revelation? Okay, I was just thinking about it and they showed me the moon card. So something was hidden, somebody was uh, doing some kind of, uh, you know, um, false act, okay, trying, uh, trying to elude the other person into believing something which was not there, okay, trying to hide some things, okay, when I said something was being revealed for some time, it was done behind the scenes, okay, like the seven of swords came out in reverse. It's not there up here. Okay, anyways, um, so something was revealed, okay, that is why the tower moment happened. Now, uh, again, the emperor might have done something, okay, which they thought they would get away with. Hmm? They were a little illusional about uh, how they were dealing things, okay? They thought, uh, it's like somebody misusing their power. What is the moon about? Somebody misusing their power. They thought they will get away with it. Hmm? But that might be the reason why everything fell apart when things came into light. Hmm? That is the reason some people have become uh, single, okay? And I have Pentacles as always a single uh, single person card. So now it's like um, people separating. They don't want to be tied within this, you know? It's stressing them out. This is also a nine card, okay? Somebody um, is at the verge of completion, okay? Ten is like, endings and new beginnings for me nine is like they are the words okay of making a decision being single mm -hmm. for the king and the queen which came out earlier it's a it's a very overwhelming situation so it's almost like you are at the verge okay um of a complete official separation from the other person because the other person might have found out something about you and they are not liking it they're pretty much stressed out about this and they're not liking what you did to them. Okay? And even the thought about being single again when you were in a good partnership before this happened, it is stressing them out. Just the thought about it doesn't let them sleep. They're almost like stuck with all these thoughts which is, you know, which is conflicting and which is going on in their head. What to do about the situation now? What else, please? Yeah, because somebody feel very, very much wronged. Okay, with the justice card in reverse, somebody feel so much wronged. I guess uh, your partner, your significant other has wronged you, or you have wronged them. Okay, by doing something crappy. Okay, that is why uh, the chariot has come to a stop. It's not moving forward. Mm? It's almost like where to from now, which way to take, how do we move forward from here? Hmm? 
after the shitstorm has happened with the tower card things blew out of proportion now how do we get back together what are the chances that is why chariot is in reverse trying to understand how do we move forward from here because things are different from now on hmm? so which way do we take what is the decision moving on do we get back together or do we separate ways can you tell me more please yeah somebody is still fighting it out okay somebody is not willing to surrender to the situation somehow and that is the emperor he keeps coming up okay he's losing his mind over the situation because he now he's being stupid okay and he can't think straight now he's losing his position within this relationship yet he's 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 trying his best to make it work and not giving up when there is no one else to fight with he's he's by himself because the other per uh, person has been um you know mm, ha feels depre uh, depressed feels betrayed and they have walked away now whom are you going to fight when there is nobody else to even talk to hmm? the other person doesn't want to listen to anything when i show you the page of cups in the beginning they are not even to accept any kind of apology as well hmm? what else please what is crisis need to know somebody is my in the um, somebody is making a decision or already has made a decision that he wants to just not moving forward night of swords to me a bright is somebody is just going to be very impulsive and just you know action oriented they they are not all about talks they will just go in there and do what they got to do okay but here it's like almost going for the kill there is not too much thinking but here i saw the two of swords in reverse that is like a uh, decision decision has already been made what is a decision it's coming to an halt a complete abrupt full stop uh, i also want to put it uh, put it out there somebody is not thinking clearly okay there is so much elements which is going in the head which is conflicting their decisions somehow someone is so hurt that they want to get back if that makes sense hmm? if this is a way they can get back at you that is what they're going to do because i do see with these cards that uh, there is not much clarity okay uh my third eye is aching so it's like you you don't want to see it clearly the other person just doesn't want to see it clearly their their heart is hurt they don't want to use their brains right now hmm? that is how their decision is being influenced yeah they don't want anything to do with you anymore they are not willing to reciprocate some of you might have a lost touch with this person what else please yes this is like a potential card to me when the seven of cups is upright it's all there in the clouds okay it's out of reach but yet there is potential if you put in the effort you might as well reach one of the cups in there okay there is still chance there is still hope but when it is in reverse that's like there is no potential there is not even a hope a wee little hope in there i know this is a negative reading but I, but i cannot help it you see what's coming up how do i butter it up do you want me to tell the opposite of this because i saw a comment in my um aquarius reading actually somebody was talking about being negative i'm like what the fuck what would you expect me to do oh, when this is how the cards are coming through hmm? 
I'm not selling cotton candies up here. I don't want to fluff it up for you and give you hopes. This is how it is. If it makes sense to you, okay, fine. It is your story. If it doesn't, just move on. Anyways. What else, please? Somebody is sitting and contemplating the situation. Like, they are willing to make the decision. Okay, they are making the decision, but yet they are sitting and stalling for some, some, some way. They are sitting and stalling. Hmm? Why is that? But there is not much movement. Okay? It's not like they are telling you, this is it. They are done. No. They have made the decision how to go about it because I said, they don't have a clarity yet what they want because they have been hurt. They can't see through it. Okay? They know they're going to lose, off, lose out as well if they completely cut you out. But for now, what I want to say is they want to take their own sweet time with the situation because they have the upper hand. Okay? So it's up to them how they move about it. So they are taking the time, although right now, how they're thinking is, I don't want this ass back in my life. No. They did this to me. They deserve it. Okay? But yet this person, he doesn't want to cut the cords just like that. It's almost like they want to, uh, you know, put you on that, you know, seesaw where you don't know how things are going to go. Hmm? Because they are stalling time. I see them stalling time because they need to know, is that it? Even they are confused. That's why both of you came out in a very overwhelmed state of mind with the king and the queen in reverse. You you are pretty much... Uh, the, mm, King and the Queen of Cups came out in reverse. You're very much overwhelmed just thinking about what will happen to us hmm? once I make this decision, once they make the decision on this relationship. Is it? Is that it? That is why whoever has the upper hand is stalling it. Stalling how to move forward. Yeah. Right now they are not doing any kind of movement. Hmm? Because they are also uncertain. They are unsure what they really want. There is not much communication. There is not much movement. What else, please? The Fool's Approach. Three of Pentacles. Somebody wants to explore, like, you know, take the risk and see what's out there. Okay, even if it means not working out the situation. They're having this fool's approach. Just what I was speaking about, they're going to contemplate the situation. They might be deciding on not making it work. Okay. I see them giving up. The fool here is walking away exploring what's out there and not trying to make it work with the emperor who's losing his shirt okay what else please yes yet see the ace of wands even for the person who's uh trying to break the you know uh, break the chains which is bond bonding them to this person it is difficult it is difficult it is stressing them out to you know uproot everything which they have built together if that makes sense is it once in reverse a tree takes a lot of time to grow but it just takes a couple of hours maybe to just uproot it hmm? In a day, you can, I don't know, I, I'm not a carpenter or anything, but yes, it might take you just a day to cut it down or just a few hours. But it took a couple of years to grow. 
So it is difficult for this person to make the decision to be done with this and walk away. This is like literally uprooting something which is stable, something which was solid. Hmm? Somebody doesn't want to give the chance within this. But yet, to break the break all these binds which is tying you down, it's stressing them out. It's almost like what now? Hmm? Even the fool's energy, it's exciting. But then, there is a little fear in everybody's heart. When you are going to take a risk in life, when you are planning to jump off the cliff, you will have that couple of minutes of, you know, um, exhilaration or anxiety or, you know, or what if I break something? What if I land on my nose and I break the nose? Or something of that sort, okay? It's not always, you know, I'm going to just be going to do it. It's not always exciting. There is a tiny fear. So this person is willing to take the chance and move on and see what is out there. But then this this still very much strikes an anxiety. Uh, there is an anxiety about yeah, breaking and moving on to newer horizons. Okay, the fool's approach is to see what is there, which I said earlier. Hmm? After this tower moment and this um, what did I just say about the tree being uprooted. Somebody is just deciding to be single and be abundant by themselves. Yeah, and not to offer anything to the other person. Yeah, to work it out. Because they are very much, they feel betrayed. Okay, they, they regret the whole situation. And somebody is going to cry over the spilled milk, whoever the story is directed at. Okay? You're going to cry on what you have lost with this person when they make the decision and move on. Tell me in the comments if I could have said the story any other way. Because I've shuffled it right in front of you and I'm playing the cards. Can I say it any other way? Anyways, Pisces. What is the guidance for the Pisces people out there for the rest of the month? What is the guidance for the Pisces people out there for the rest of the month? celebrate life okay whatever your situation is there is some kind of uh, celebration which is coming through okay and it might be small okay you need to celebrate life you need to um, you know take the time off to yeah understand what you are with the hierophant It's almost like going within yourself. Hmm? Knowing your worth. Knowing what you are. That would be the guidance for the rest of the month. Okay, with the nine of, uh, nine of wands, you almost come through as somebody who, who thinks, with these two cards, sorry. With these two cards, you almost come through as someone who is like willing to uh, you know, ex you are expecting uh, somebody is going to hurt you ev at every turn. Hmm? You're very much conflicted inside as a person who thinks, you know, you have to guard yourself, guard your heart maybe from every person who is out there to hurt you. But that, not, uh, that might not be the truth. 
is asking you to have a clear mind. Okay? You might have been hurt once. Maybe twice, maybe thrice. That doesn't mean you cannot enjoy life. You have to go solitude. No. You still need to enjoy your life. With the three of cups, you still need to socialize. Take the time off for yourself, but yet, sorry, take the time off, you know, to assess yourself. But then that doesn't mean you have to push everybody out of your life, like how this person is doing. Okay, with the nine of wands, always ready to fight, always ready to defend yourself, always ready to guard yourself from everybody around you. That is not the way it should be. Not everybody are assholes. No. Hmm? With the three of cups, go in there. There's a full moon right out there. Hmm? Celebrate your life. Celebrate the people around you. There is some part in life you have to keep it for yourself. You need not speak it to others. That is for you. But then there is that element where you need people around you as well. Hmm? Start small. With the page of pentacles, it is always starting small. Take kind, some kind of adventure. Yeah, Take a gamble in life. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be serious all the time. This this guy is literally flicking a coin. Okay, this guy is an, on an adventure. What did I tell you about the full card? This person at the end of a story is is ready to take an adventure. Wants to look what is out there. Put all the crap behind. That's what I said with the with these cards as well. With the nine of wands and the hierophant. Don't don't think you cannot live your life anymore just because. You have faced all the struggles and the betrayal you could take in one life. No. No. Experience life. There might be still somebody out there who would really appreciate you for what you are. Okay? Take that gamble in life. It doesn't matter which way you go. It is up to you. But you need to be adventurous. You need not sit on everything you have, you know, accumulated, the memories, everything. You cannot isolate yourself and sit on top of it and think, oh, I should not get out of this room because everybody is out there to get me. Nope. You need to break the bonds. Okay? You need to get out of that uh, subconscious energy which, you, uh, you know, thoughts you're having, which is... You know, tying you down. In regards to what, you know, which did not work out with the Six of Wands. Which, you know, things did not work out the way you wanted once upon a time. But then it's a part of life. You keep trying. Have the strength and raise yourself. I'm not going to look at the other cards because I will keep going. So, um, with the strength card, embrace yourself. Enjoy life. I think I'll stop here. This is Marishi on my channel, Trilogue. Bye.